um, those bags are going to deflate and that trailer is going to drop. So. Okay, Clemson's up early. Let's see, 10 nothing, packed house. Oh, dropped the screen. Man, okay, well, I'm crossing my fingers and praying for the best. Let's go. Ride the bike with that Clemson gear you got on. What? Fight, tiger, fight, tiger, fight, fight, fight. Oh my goodness. Whee! Just riding by to go watch the game and what is that, first gen Supra, W30. Look at the paint on this thing. My goodness, that's pretty. LS swapped. That is gorgeous. You got this guy out here. Ah, goodness. Oh, look at that shifter. Look at the fans. <laughs> That's gorgeous, 427. A little Yanko action. I love it. The way he did the firewall and the gold, that is so pretty. Flat black with the gold inside also. Man. Pace cars, another Nova, or Impala, sorry, I thought it was a Nova. Talking about these cars, I sat in my grandpa's when I was a kid. I sat in the back going to the ice cream place, but trying to sit in here as a grown adult, not fitting, not happening. But they sure look cool. The first gen Camaro and the fourth gen. This is actually our buddy Cody's car. He's got a mean motor in that thing. Beautiful. It's more in the back, I guess. Yeah. Ah. Nice band playing. Oh, I love that color. Beautiful car, man. Love the red and the whites. Even with the interior. Great job, guys. Man, I think it's pretty. Been in the family for longer? How long you had it? 29 years? Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. Oh, little Frenchy. You did all the work on it? Nice. It's beautiful, man. Gorgeous. Beautiful day today, huh? Oh, yeah. Take care, guys. Oh, that burnt orange. Yes. So, when I was in high school, this was the car, guys the SS and the Firehawk. This one has low, low original miles and the $7,000. Upgraded package. Beautiful car. Man. Another pace car. And look at this Corvette, guys. Ooh, I saw this one at the other car show. Gorgeous. Look at that interior matching the same color. And it's a manual. Beautiful. Love those wheels. Don't forget the Pontiac. Woo -woo! How wide those seats are. Gorgeous, guys. Okay. We're going to continue on to watch the game, but we were just riding by and said, hey, let's stop at this car show. So we were going to finish up the game at the station, but our buddy Tom is riding, <laughs> driving his NSX. So he said, let's go check it out. A couple of nice bikes here. It's a good biker bar, guys, to come hang out and meet other Harley enthusiasts and Clemson football fans. T-Dub's got her signature Philly chicken. So good. Oh my goodness. And uh, looks like we might have another touchdown, maybe. Ooh, big hit. Hope he's okay. Let's go. Last day of the pool. My goodness, summer's officially over. I think. Well, thank you. I think it's officially the uh, start of fall. Okay, I will. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's see, how, let's see how cold it is when they jump in. <laughs> is it cold? <laughs> it's cold, huh? <laughs> Last day. Oh goodness. Gotta miss the pool. Till next summer. I really didn't think that Tash would get in. Or any of them for that matter. It's cold.
<laughs> All right, last day of the uh, pool. What are you doing up there? Okay, so let's be careful there, buddy. That was a great time. Children's Museum, downtown Greenville. Oh, you don't want to leave? No. Okay. No, it's good. It's good? Yep. All right, fun weekend out there, guys. Cool car show, great having a bike ride. And then uh, the day after, we kind of did this um, museum for the kids with all their friends. So <laughs> that was a good time. Now it's back to looking for loads. Um, we got to fix that airbag first, though, so I have to run over there. Um, praying that none of the bolts are seized or nothing like that. We're gonna spray some PB blaster on them, some loosener, and see if we can get those off. They're not that hard, you just have to jack up the truck. Just have some more uh, leeway to get to it. It's hot, hot. Or you can pinch off your um, line and oh, yeah, air it up, but I'd rather use a jack than, than do that way, so. We gotta blow on Okay, good. <laughs> All right, let's go fix that airbag. We are back at the trucks, but this guy, look at that. That is a nice wide body Supra. Cool little wrap on it. Um, Georgia plates, temporary. Uh, yeah, but Red Wheels has a friend. That's a nice car. I, I want to know, there's always different like airbag slammed cars right there. I've met a, a guy there before. I don't know if they, they have a, a sister that lives there or a mom or a girlfriend. I don't know what it is, but they're always different slammed cars. <laughs> nice cars too. So. All right, let's get to this airbag. Probably have to pull the truck up a little bit because I got it way back against the fence. And uh, let's see if these bolts are going to be easy for us. That, oh, they're nuts. That's the biggest thing about it is the um, nuts being seized on the top side because uh, they're kind of hard to get to some of them. So we'll see what we got. And uh, yeah. And it is 86 degrees today. A little warm, but tell me what the heck they're doing over here. I've never seen nothing like that. Kind of weird. I don't know. Make a little own, their own pool. Maybe they're making their own pool. Okay, let's get to this bag. First things first, we're gonna get a little penetrating oil on there. One here, there's one right inside that hole. This one's the airline one. Uh, if you look at the way the bolts are on the actual frame, it's a little bit towards the front. So make sure you put it in the right way. <laughs> there's a plug on that one, so it won't work. But get that in there. I got a little penetrating oil on there. And down here, get that one, so. Let that sit for a little bit and then we'll uh, try to start breaking them loose. You are going to want to support the rear of the trailer for doing this because once the air pressure is completely gone, um, those bags are going to deflate and that trailer is going to drop. So make sure that you release that pressure out of the tank also. Or you could just release the line, but release the tank pressure, but that's going to dip the trailer. So uh, my bottle jack's not quite tall enough, <laughs> it's meant for going straight under the axles. Um, but down here, it doesn't have really the room. You could put some wood under it, but I'd rather just use the three ton and the three ton jack stand. Uh, and then we'll have the bottle, <laughs> bottle jack for fun. Um, but yeah, support it because you're going to have the trailer dip down and you want that extra room to be able to get that bag out and then put the new one in. Well then, <laughs> we're having a little bit of an issue here. A one inch combination is too small. You get up there. We'll not go on. Doot, doot. One and an eighth inch does go on. Oh, well, let's get on there. But too big. 27, which is the, I have a 27, a 30, and a 32. Not going on. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, it must be an eighth and a 16th. I don't know. Or one inch and one, I don't know. We don't have the right combination wrench out of all the wrenches I have. <laughs> so we don't have the exact one. And I even tested it on the airbag that we have inside also. Since we're gonna get a new tire anyways, 
We're taking this thing to Southeast Trailer Park because I guarantee they have the right size for that nut. But that's all you need to do. <clears throat> Sounds like I make it sound simple. There's a torque spec on this also. Don't go too, too tight. It's like 35 foot pounds because it is plastic. You don't want to break it. So um, before I take it apart, or I don't want to round it off is the thing. You really don't want to round off a, uh, a nut. So man, it sucks. I, I thought, thought I had a lot of uh, combinations, but nope, not the right one for that. So maybe we'll have to buy that or ask them which one it is. But yeah, this tire, definitely. Thanks for all the comments. We're gonna replace that one and um, have them do the airbag and then find out what size combination that was because we don't have it. <laughs> okay, you go ahead start it now. There you go. All right, nope, don't, don't turn the wheel. Don't hit the fuel for a little bit. Hey, my buddy came, didn't come down on his bike, just got out of school. He's like, hey man, what are you doing? Like trying to fix an airbag, man. Oh, he just hit the horn. Uh, so yeah, I was gonna drop it off at Southeast. About one o'clock right now, they should be open for, might get it done today even, because they have the tires ready to go. They're just already on the wheel, uh, brand new powder coated white wheels. It's $250 a tire with the wheel, and then they take your old one, old one recondition it, and do it again. Um, but yeah, I really like to do stuff myself. You can do your, that yourself easy. I mean, it might not be that easy. Those bolts are supposed to be hard to get uh, broken loose off the top if they've been on there for a while, and this trailer is in 2015. So it's been on there for a while, about eight years. Um, but you can do it yourself, especially if you're in a bind or you can pinch off the airline, get to a shop where you need to go. About $150 for the airbag, two, two nuts up top, one nut on the bottom, and it'd be easy on the torquing on the bottom one. You just replace the airline and jack up the back of the trailer. So, wish I could've got that done, but uh, I don't know, I'm gonna ask uh, Travis over at Southeast Trailer Mart, like what, what size is that, man? Uh, I don't have that one. Yeah, yeah you can hit a little fuel. There you go. You already hit the horn, huh? <laughs> there you go. No, I just... Yeah. Alright, come on. I gotta go drop it off. <laughs> Loves trucks. Yeah, go ahead. There <laughs> you go, buddy. Come on. I'll be back in a little bit. I just gotta go drop trailer off. Don't forget your bike back there. Alright, buddy. I'll see you when I come back. High five. I got a dirty hand, though. Ow. Later, brother. southeast trailer <laughs> i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna put it over here and see where they want me they got one open bay right there but i don't want to put it in there unless they say it's okay let's go talk to travis putting on a whole new front cap for that thing trailer central guys that is a nice trailer old conestoga with this, the highlights. What's up, buddy? What's up? Got a little skylights for you and everything yeah, so you can see. Yeah. They're getting spiffy. Okay. Takes it better than tarping. Just got done talking to Travis and we are good to go. So he's gonna do it tomorrow. So I put it back here in hull. They definitely have more tires for me. So they'll put, I'm gonna put two on. We're gonna put one on that back one, which was pretty bad. Didn't realize it was that bad. And then one on the outside that's kind of just wavy. Um, here we go detached and then come back here tomorrow and should be have it done in the morning see if we can get a load tomorrow but luckily not luckily but there wasn't a load here anyways today that i was trying to go get um, but the airbag <coughs> he got under there with me and you can actually hear it hissing a little bit even when it's empty right now so needs to be replaced and 150 dollars probably be a half hours of uh work to get it done just popping those two screws loose <coughs> or bolts loose nuts loose sorry because they have all the tools they'll be able to support the back of the trailer and they do this all the time. So I'm gonna ask them though, what size uh, combination wrench was that? Because I do not have that. And um, could've went to Harbor Freight and bought it and all that, but since I need two tires anyways, they can just do it all while we're here. Have the, the trailer jacked up, two new tires, new airbag, but that'll probably be, we're looking at about $700, $600 in uh, labor and, and two tires at 250 plus tax. That's more the reason of why we have to know our worth and Bit accordingly for these loads because this keeping this stuff rolling is not cheap at all in the trucking business. Um, could have done it myself if I had the right stuff, but them charging me $50, $60 to do it 
isn't that bad, so. And we already have the parts for them, so. Cool. Okay, let's get back, put the truck away. We'll come back here tomorrow, check on the progress of that, and look at the load boards, and should have our trailer tip-top shape again, for now, um, after tomorrow. Okay, we are home. So I came home, grabbed a bunch of my other combination wrenches that I have here, <laughs> and yeah, nothing was working, so. We'll get that done tomorrow. I'm glad to, I'm lucky to have Southeast Trailer Mart literally about by a crow flies, a mile and a half that way. So we're very lucky. Okay, well, let's get these open end wrenches or combination wrenches out of the back of the minivan and the jack and see what uh, the rest of the day holds. Wrenches are back where they need to be. I have a whole nother set of open end combinations at um, the truck, but I figured I might have it here, but no, we did not. So uh, put the jack back, got the jack stand back and we'll just have to wait for uh, Southeast Trailer Mart. I wonder what size it was. It was something probably fit, 16th. I don't know. But if one and one eighth was too big and one inch was was too small. So who knows? Let's go see what these kids are doing. Is it lawn is it laundry time? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Dig, 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 dig. What's up, baby? <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. How was school today? Good. Good. What did you do? Can we go to Kyle's house? Kyle's house again? You got to call Kyle. Were you guys iPadding? Did you do your homework already? Yeah. Yes. Kyle's house. Why did you have homework? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Why don't you have homework? Didn't Miss Barnes give you homework last year? Yeah, a yeah, lot. A lot. And he never does have homework. It's weird. But he has the same teacher as Cash did last year. Yeah. Um, can I in your back? No. Yeah, I guess that you can, yes. Can I? Yes, you can both get my back. Yeah. What's your question? Are we going to do something, Kyle? <laughs> what? Are we, what? Oh, cut, Tiki. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right, guys. So, no load today. We're getting the trailer worked on. <laughs> this kid's jumping on my shoulders. Okay, yeah, guys. We ended up at the park. Not much of a... Uh, repair there on the on the airbag by myself but we tried but we'll figure that out tomorrow so we'll have that repaired and two new tires and uh yeah had a great week i hope you guys did too get back to loads tomorrow afternoon if there's anything when we get the trailer um out of the shop shouldn't be that quick shouldn't be tires already mounted just take off the other one put new ones on and then with the um airbag that shouldn't take us more than an hour to get that out of the way so on that note keep up got chicken tenders these snack bar is open. They have baseball here today. God bless you. And we will see you on the next one.